13, iPhone 11, I am shook. I have 10 tips, tricks, and hidden features that you guys absolutely must try. Now you can email like a pro, use way more gestures, and a whole bunch of other epic new features. But also stay until the end of the video because I'm going to be giving away this App Store gift card to one of you guys. So let's get into it. Starting off with maps and all the epic cool new things you can do within maps, I decided to use New York as my example, but of course you can use your city or wherever it is you stay. But if you head on over to satellite view and then click on this 3D icon, you can toggle around within the 3D map and rotate your view, zoom in or zoom out. It's really, really interesting. And it gives you a great sense of the area you're going to visit or you're currently in if you check out this view. But now what's really cool and an epic thing you can do is place a pin down anywhere on the map and then as you see right over here it says look around and if you click on that you get an entire 3d immersed experience of exactly where you place that pin the look around feature does only work in certain popular destinations but still whip out your phone and try it out now in your city Now, of course, one of the biggest new additions to the iPhone 11s are the cameras and their features. So first up, you can toggle between the two lenses on the iPhone 11s, just as you see there. But what you can also now do is if you're taking a picture and decide you want to start taking a video, you simply just hold down on the shutter button and bam, bam, it starts taking a video. You can even lock the video by just swiping right once you click and hold down on the shutter button. And you can still then toggle between the two different lenses. Or if you click and hold to the left, it'll take a burst shot. And once done, you can go back and choose out of those burst pictures which were your favorite. You can also get those slow fees now aka slow-mo selfies. Then this one I picked up from MKBHD. If you put on the backlight of your iPhone 11 it'll actually illuminate the frame of your phone. Try it out it's really cool. Now these are some quick access features that were seriously needed on iPhones. So if you go into the control center, click and hold down on the Wi-Fi button, it'll open up this little menu, but then again, a long press on the Wi-Fi button and you will see you can now access any Wi-Fi straight away without having to go into settings. The same goes for Bluetooth. Just long press on the Bluetooth icon, select your device. And again, just like that, you can quickly connect to a device without having to go via settings. If you head back to the control center and long press on the brightness icon, you can now toggle on dark mode. But what's really cool is not only will it change the settings and such to dark mode, but it even changes the wallpaper to a darker toned wallpaper. How cool? Now this is a really fun one. And let's say you're busy saving your friend's contact in your cell phone. You add the number, but you don't have a picture of them. Here is where you can get creative and have a little bit of fun. So if you click on add photo, once in there, you will see this little plus icon. And if you select that, you can now create a meme emoji of your friend. I think this is so cool. And it is so much fun trying to get the meme emoji to look as close to your friend as possible. And there are so many different features to choose from. But then once you've created the meme emoji, just turn your phone to face you. And then the meme emoji mimics whatever your face is doing you take a picture, upscale it, do whatever you want, then just select a cool background color. And now in future, when your friend phones you, their meme emoji will show up. These are possibly some of my favorite new additions. And if you click and hold down on any applications, you will now see a bunch of quick actions that you can select from just from holding down the icon. So as you can see here, you can view posts, view activity straight onto Instagram. I love this new addition and makes life so much easier. And then to rearrange any icons, just tap and hold down, select rearrange apps. And then just like that, you can move apps around just like you always have in the past. Another quick action is previewing any notifications. So if you swipe down the notification panel and long press on the notification, as you can see, you will get a nice little preview box of the message or email and even respond from there. 
This is something that Android devices have had for ages, but you can now do on an iPhone, which is epic. So traditionally, you would usually type out a message like this, but now you get Quick Path keyboard on iPhones. And Quick Path is when you literally slide from letter to letter to create your word, just as you see me doing here. And surprisingly, this is so accurate, guys, I didn't think it would be, but I was very pleasantly surprised. And I don't think I'll be going back to the traditional typing method anytime soon, simply because the quick swiping is so much faster. And as you can see, the quick path method of typing is just as accurate as normal typing. Love it. So of course, in this day and age, not only do we use our devices to make calls and messages, etc., but to type out emails. And now you can make your emails look super slick and professional within iPhone's mailing app. So as you can see, there is a toolbar just above the keyboard with a whole bunch of epic features. So if you highlight and select some portions of your text and then click on this text icon, you can completely customize the way your text looks. You can change the font and as you can see, there are a whole bunch of different fonts to choose from. So it is completely up to you. And then once deciding on the font, you can change the color. There is this massive color board to choose from. And honestly, the options are endless. You can also make your text bold, strike through, underline, italics, you name it. There are a bunch of different features to make your email look fantastic. From there, you can head back to the toolbar, add a bunch of extra documents, images, attachments, whatever it is you'd like. And at the end of the day, you have made such a professional email straight from your phone. Scanning documents is another awesome new feature that you can access via files. So if you click on that browse icon, then these three dots in the top right hand corner, you will see the option that says scan documents. And if you click on that, you can hold up any document your heart desires and it'll automatically start trying to detect what you are trying to scan. But once you have captured your image, you can change the corner anchor points to wherever you'd like. So I was just lining them up a bit more accurately, then select keep scan. And then if you go back to that scan, you can actually change it with these little filters and make it look more like a scan. You can make it black and white, you can make it grayscale, or use it just as an image. So I really enjoy this feature and you can even go back and add more scans one after the other, just like a document. How nifty. By now, I'm sure many of you know exactly how to take screenshots on your iPhone, but did you know you can actually get full page screenshots? And what I mean by that is if you're busy browsing the internet or a specific web page and take a screenshot, at the top there, you will now see this option that says full page. If you select that, as you can see, you now have a screenshot of the entire web page that you were just on. Not only that, you can then go and edit on top of that screenshot with highlighters or markers, change the colors, change the thickness, and make whatever notes you need to, but it can all be done on either the standard screenshot or that really long full page one. You can also take the full page screenshot on web pages, so not only internet searches. And once you've taken any screenshots or made any edits, you can then share that screenshot via email or messenger, WhatsApp, you name it. Then onto some quick, cool, and seriously nifty gestures. Instead of scrolling down like you traditionally would, if you click and hold down on the scroll bar, you can quick and easily scroll up and down on any page. Then this one is seriously nifty, and it's if you want to undo or redo any actions. Simply take three fingers and swipe to the left to undo, or take three fingers and swipe to the right to redo. Then to make file selecting super easy, simply take two fingers and click once. And like that, you can now select more folders without having to have clicked and long pressed. This action too applies to emails as well as a couple other applications. Then for some quick copy and paste gestures, if you're busy typing something out, select the text and then pinch in with three fingers and it'll automatically copy. And then wherever you want to paste, simply pinch out with three fingers and it'll automatically paste your text. Now that is the bomb.com. I'm giving away this App Store gift card to one of my epic subscribers. It's valued at $30 and you can download apps, music, movies, and so much more. And all you have to do to enter to win this gift card is first be subbed to the channel and then comment down below what your favorite tip, trick, or hidden feature was. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe, or you can check out some of my other videos right over here but I will see you in the next one. Toodles!